I had a dream of playing for my country and it's not going to happen by chance. I was bold enough to really commit to that. My name's Hannah McLeod and I'm a forward for Great Britain. I've been part of the Great Britain squad for 12 years now. I've achieved an awful lot, far more than I ever expected. I'm not just a hockey player, I'm also a nutritionist. I studied for a PhD in environmental physiology, which I completed in 2009 before becoming a full-time hockey player. I love my work and I'm very fortunate that the type of work I do is primarily research and writing, so I found it beneficial for my hockey. I realised that for me, working was an incredible way to have a mental break from what we do. I can stop thinking about the shots that I missed or how much I hurt. I can just switch that off for a little bit and then look back on training with a fresh pair of eyes. There's certainly disciplines that cross over from my PhD through to how we live as an elite athlete. A PhD is all consuming. There's not a minute of the day you're not thinking about it or trying to problem solve. And it's exactly the same as an elite athlete. It's not a job, you don't finish at five. And I've realized for me to deliver what I need to deliver on a hockey pitch and for my team, it has to be go, go, go. The team spirit is brilliant, it's competitive. And not only are you fighting for your place, you're fighting to make the team the best it can be. The standard is huge. And people ask you, what's your favourite time? Was it standing on the podium? Was it when the final whistle went? Was it meeting the Queen at Buckingham Palace? No, my standout memory has been London 2012, sat in a changing room with just my teammates before bronze medal match. The feeling I got from looking at them in the eye and going, wow, they are going to work so hard and there is no way we're leaving this pitch without winning. No way. I want to feel that again. That's why I'm still playing this sport. That's what drives me. That's what will get us a gold medal.